today's video, I'm gonna be replacing the rear differential seal because as you can see, it's leaking pretty bad. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the gasket. First thing we wanna do is jack up the rear and go ahead and put it on some jack stands. Then we can go ahead and take off the axles. 10 millimeter for this speed sensor. Fourteen millimeter. Ten millimeter for the brake line. Twenty four millimeter for the drain plug. Got a new copper washer. We're going to go ahead and put the drain plug back in. Twenty nine foot pounds. We're going to go ahead and take off our drive shaft, fourteen millimeter bolt and nut. Just going to go ahead and put a mark right here just so we match it up when we go back in. Now with the drive shaft removed from the differential, we can go ahead and remove all the mount bolts. All right, that's all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and clean out the differential. With our new gasket, you can see the notch on the bottom and the notch up top. On the gasket, you can see there's a notch right there and a notch opposite. Got our gasket with the light coating of RTV just for redundancy. I'm going to go ahead and put it on.
Torque, 18 foot pounds. All right, that's torqued. We're gonna get our shaft out. Line up the marking. Sixty-five foot pounds. And there you go. Use gasket installed. No more leak. Now we just gotta fill it up. Gonna go ahead and open up the fill plug. Twenty-four millimeter. What I found online, the dip calls for 2.6 quarts. I'm gonna go ahead and put the fill bolt. Torque is 29 foot pounds. Now we can go ahead and install the nuts that hold it on. Torque I found online, 50 foot pounds. Can't get a torque wrench on this last one, so we're just gonna tighten it down by hand. Now we can go ahead and install our brake line. Go ahead and install our wheel speed sensor. I'm gonna clean it off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera and then we can bleed the brakes. Go ahead and crack the bleeder open. You'll get some fluid coming out. Make sure your master cylinder is topped off. Then you can go ahead and press the brake pedal and start getting the air out of the system. Tying it down. And you're good to go. And that's how you replace a differential gasket. Hopefully this video helped you. You'll have a good one.